like a clock. Without Calibri's help, it's been harder to control, uh, coordinate logistics cadre. If there's anything good to say about that woman is how she knows how to make others respect her orders despite her minuscule stature. Went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight. Some memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman. Her hair was white as snow. I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them. I asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. I was playing them with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I'm now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar. When I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. In my memory, she was like an, uh, just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Serpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but I never have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box only distracted me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all the pages turned out to be blank. It has been a miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill for I long for a stern guidance, that overwhelming authority which she bathes the room in. Let's see, more sick, making my work harder. We are meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements. My only uh, consolation is that our protector staff, as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica ends up in the hospital wing, the stall workers seem to succumb so much faster. For any attempted treatment. Another diary filled for no benefit, my own dissatisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet. But I spent my uh, saved ration marks on the marvelous looking fountain pen that I guess I'll make use of in that notebook. One of the two upside down worlds um, has all the world seeds in one. That's nuts. Oh, wow. Like a, a jump, um, a mash. That's nuts. Yes, yeah, so the story in this game is interesting. It's something has happened on this station, on this mining outpost. We don't know what yet. Everybody's gone a little crazy. Everybody's getting sick. Everybody's, the humans are dying. The machines are becoming infected with some sort. Their bio components are becoming infected and they're going nuts. And it's bad. Let's see, biomechanical with carbon fiber, reinforced polythene, shell, and titanium skeleton. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited for specialists, sappers, and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern of this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neural archive on Veneta, New LSTR units have been no or new LSTR units are produced based on decommissioned unit from the Penrose program. There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like it's missing something from the mechanism. Okay. So we need to find something to put in the hole. Now I think we go down to use the library key. Maybe it's in the library. Oh, you're right there. That's great. That's great. There, oh, this door. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. I still have not figured out what controls when they get up. Because you shoot them and you stomp on them and they lie there like they're dead for a long time. Then they get back up randomly. If it's just time, if it's how many times you go through the room. Don't know. All right. I think we can go in here now. Use library key. Yes. Oh, hey, there's a non-crazy person here. That's good. Hello. Do you require assistance? What's well, a Calibra unit? Who are you? You're not one of our staff. 
The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts. I've never been so alone before. They're still together and I am here, outside. And they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I had become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. I hate this. Because he's in a library and you have to be quiet in a library. Those are the rules. Even for psychics apparently. All right, repair spray, I will take that. Um, Mina. Biomechanic with high security reinforced armor plated servo shell. Yeah, we fought one of those. They were not pleasant. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery, and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the minor units used with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation, under crushing pressure, and zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies underneath their faces, uh, shields is a standard generation three cranial construction that can be found making maintenance and social inter interface as easy as any other replica model. Please note that the minor neural patterns do not suit it for combat use. For combat applications, the Sapper variant should be used. It employs a combat cable persona in the same frame. Interesting. Alignment error, use manual controls. This is like, this is like one of those, am I trying to get my, my Snickers bar out of the machine and it's jammed? Is that what they're saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's this one. They're all the same. So it doesn't go over one each time. I feel like I, I feel like I had it, didn't I? So you take that and it goes up and I just stop it there and I go down. Why not? Hmm. I think I need to somehow go up from the bottom, maybe? <laughs> uh, okay, so down, over, down, over, down, over. Up, over, up. Picked up an astrolabe. The king in yellow, interesting. That looked like might go for the thing in the, the, is that the knob we need for Adler's room? I think it might be. Oh, no space to carry. All right, let me... Oh, I wish I could have seen that pack first. I would have used the pack. Use, combine, inspect.
I guess I have no ch I have no choice but to leave that hit that there. All right, and that's about the Calibris. Yeah. Okay. So, what do I do here? Do I care about this thing here? So I either use one of my health things. Let's go ahead and use it. So I don't have to come back here. Probably not the best solution to the problem, but... Okay. So now we go back up to Adler's room. Yeah. Okay, so I bet I bet we're gonna have to line this up the way that that starred that uh, celestial ori we found. Holy crap! Let's see. Do I have a memory of that? Don't think I do. Hey, son, how's it going? I don't think I do, son of a biscuit. Not a son of a biscuit. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, all right. So let's go to the star map. I think the star map is what we need. Things are going, we're making progress. I'm slowly shuffling things around in my pockets. Getting things done. Gwen. It was not the room I thought it was. Okay, never mind. So I think we're going to want to want to see me a resin, resin zero just to resin evil zero just for uh, the salty tears. All right, so let's wait till this thing swings around to that puts the star up top. And we'll take a picture. I think in theory they want me to use my memory module, but we are going to not do that. We're not we're not gonna use that game mechanic. Cause I have to go get it out of my box, I have to put it in, put the eyeball in, put my flashlight away, go take a picture. Go back, put the eyeball back in the box, get out my flashlight.
Really hate you too, ladies. Yeah, that really doesn't tell me anything. I should maybe should look look more closely at these symbols. I just assumed that because that that's the same icon as that star icon, but maybe. Maybe not. Oh, it did work. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not crazy. Oh, just a little crazy. Okay, I'll have to plot out the exact orbits on graph favor. Shrine diary, eleven pages. Oh my gosh, all right, Adler, he likes to talk. I've started another new, yet another new diary, How Time Flies. Dear diary. The work is dull and monotonous as ever, and Serpinski with a bright light illuminates my day. Today, I was invited to a meeting by Commander Falk, and she was magnificent as ever. Another day passes. During my meeting with Commander today, I felt the strangest sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly, our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt to a strong sensation of deja vu as of the past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today, I noticed that for some inexplicable reason, I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Every day feels like is a bit like I lived it before, and even stranger is a sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? Why are they all dated today? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally gotten to my mind? Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out. I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read my pages of the diary, I recall events that never happened. And yesterday, that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I was actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though this room I peer, uh, as though in this room I can peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too become sick like the others without realizing it, but I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of uh, reproduction errors. A gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered, slowly morphing with each retelling, like a genetic, like genetic, <clears throat> genetic material, mutating and evolving, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template. I do not know. I will find out. The answer lies below. I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mine. A limerick. We can do that. We can do that indeed. I'm safe in this room. The limerick right now. All right, for today's limerick. What do we got? I can't remember if I read this one, but it's a good one, so I think I may just read it anyway. Let's see. Yeah. The limerick's an art form complex, whose contents run chiefly to sex. It's famous for virgins and masculine urgings and vulgar erotic effects. And number two. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we got all the ones on that page.
I think so. All right. Let's see if I can ask. This one's kind of, this one's chunky. I'm supposed to actually get through this. The limericks admitted a verse form, a terse form, a curse form, a hearse form. It may not be lyric, and at best, it's satiric. And a whale of a tale in perverse form. Yeah. Yeah, those are, those are pretty good. The next one on this list. You know that name, that extremely long name of that? I think it's in Iceland. I think it's in Iceland. Like the land fair, it's way it's in Wales. Okay. That's in the limerick. So Oh yeah, it's in Wales. It even says so in the limerick. The first line. There was a young man. Let's, let's just read it. I, I, I'm, now I want to read it. There was a young man from that town in Wales with a really long name who planned to write a limerick for fames. But try as he might, he could not get it right because nothing rhymes with <laughs> that, 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 uh, that name. Land fair bull. If we can find a person pronouncing it on the internet now that I've. Yeah. Find a YouTube of it. Hold on. We've gone we've gone down the rabbit hole. Now today we had a big contrast in temperature across the UK, just 12 degrees over coastal parts of eastern England, with cloudy skies, but in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Clan Byrd, Push Gwingish, Gorgeda, Quindrobo, Clan Tocilio, Go, Go, Go. Wow. What was that again? Go, Go, Go. The temperature got to Quindrobo, Clan Tocilio, Go, Go, Go. The temperature. Nope, I could not have gotten through that. Just up the road from Clan by the Push Gwingish, go get a Quindrobo, Clan Tocilio, go, go, go. The temperature. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Put that in chat. I'm sorry, you just clear you clear your throat. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the that's the name of a, a town, I think. Or a town or a I don't know what it is, if it's a town or a, or a name of a small town. Yeah. <laughs> It actually means something. All right, so we got the admin key. That's nuts. Finally got the admin key. So that gives us mine shaft access. It's like a compound word name. I mean, listening to the guy say, like, the syllables, they're so... I mean, we might as well be speaking a, an A, you know. What it sounds like, he might as well be speaking, you know, an alien language. It's like, it doesn't sound like it's, it's meant to be spoken with a human tongue. <laughs> but, but somehow, like, he's summoning Cthulhu. Yeah, exactly.
All right, let's make a run for this mine shaft. Oh, you two are right here. Nope, nope, missed. All right, we got we made it to a new section, I think. It's the mine shaft access elevator. Controls, if she is still alive, she is probably there. Take the elevator to the mine. Yes. I'm curious to see what is going on with this story. Inventory management aside. I am I'm curious to see how this works out. Ben, never gives a sub to Diva. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Adler, I know you're here. I've done this countless of times. Don't belong here. So is that my, is that my Gestalt captain of the ship that I was, I crashed on here? She just stabbed him and kicked him down the hole. Yeah, the music gets intense. All right, we are in the mine. No map data. Oh, great. Well. Dead end. That looks like the the weapon that, that I that, that boss attacked me with. It's just quiet. This is too quiet. Oh, Nitro Express ammo. I could not pick up one of those guns, could I? Those were very large. I feel like I need a... Okay, nothing I can do here. <laughs> 